Neptune is stationary at the 26th degree of Pisces. And this is one of the five Sabian symbols that makes up the expression which is called realization of faith, the last expression of the 72 in the zodiac. We're moving towards the very end of a very long story that began with Aries I, the emergence of a woman, and will end with the great stone face. And Neptune in Pisces, it only goes there infrequently. You know, every 160 odd years, Neptune will be in Pisces. And that's where it's strongest. It's its home sign. So the fact that Neptune is nearing the end of its visit into Pisces is extraordinary. You have to think about that. And what it will go through during the final five Sabian symbols is worth thinking about. We're talking now about the 26th degree. So I'll read that. A new moon that divides its influences. Civilization demands conformity, but the soul requires freedom to choose. Freedom of choice. If we expect to be able to exercise freedom of choice for ourselves, then we must allow the same freedom to others. Therefore, the idea that we may require another person to act, feel, or think the same way that we do is false. There is, of course, despotism in the fields of politics and corporate commerce, and this is very unfortunate. Yet, the worst issue is at home. Parenting is so often coercive. It takes a remarkable emotional maturity to allow others to be the way they are and to find our adjustment to them. So this is all about exercising free will. And the deeper realizations that we need to enable us to get clearer about our ultimate motives. What we're discussing with the new moon that divides its influences is a sense of not knowing what to do next. It doesn't feel right that way, and it doesn't feel right that way. It's a new moon. It's not yet established itself in this particular cycle. We're just beginning something. We just don't know what to do. It's too early. We can't feel it. We can't see the evidence. We can't think it through. We just don't know. And there is a lot of pressure for us to know things, to decide things, to act. A lot of pressure. People bully you. And you have to decide what to do about that. Conform to their will or to stand up and fight back. That's a difficult decision, isn't it? There's uncertainty about that because you don't know whether or not it would be in your best interests to start a fight or to lose rapport, whichever it is. Um, you don't know whether it is in your best interest to put up with a bully. And that's what we're discussing here. It, it, it isn't a small thing. It isn't an unusual thing, bullying. It's all over the place, all the time. It's constant, and it's not called bullying because it's constant. It's called bullying usually when there's a bigger person with a fist. But you think about somebody who's using emotional manipulation or so many other techniques, the use of the money that they have and the absence of it that you have all manner of ways for people to get you to do what they want you to do. And they're all bullying, as far as I'm concerned. And the world runs on that principle for most people. But I absolutely refuse. I'm not going to go into that myself. Bullying just doesn't... It does not align with any spiritual principle at all, either way. And a lot of spiritual teachers are actually bullies. They tell people what to do. It's, um, it's sad, disgraceful. Neptune is stationary at this degree. 
Now, what that means is the intensity of the Neptune energy is never greater. It's in the last expression of Pisces. We're starting now to go through the steps of full realization of faith. And Neptune is just stationary. That means it's focusing very, very detailedly, deeply, clearly on this principle. We need to get this if we're to go anywhere towards an advanced level of awakening. We need to get this. And what I'm saying is that what we need to get is that we're being bullied. And we're bullying collectively. And those of us that have actually come to an awareness of this uh, don't bully. And we don't get bullied either. Freedom from that monstrous archetype of insisting that somebody does what you want them to do whether they want to or not. If you can't get yourself free of that, both sides, then you're, you're not, not going to be enjoying the next dimensional shift that, that is offered in this particular expression. Neptune's greatest glory is being experienced now. And we have to, to really get it. The message is, it's a new moon. In other words, something's changing. Some new cycle is, is unfolding. And it's just too early to tell what we want to do. Now, this, of course, makes us much more vulnerable to bullying. Because if we don't know what we want, we're, we're likely to take suggestions, um, even, let alone instructions. And yet, the wisdom is not to do anything at all. Don't act. If you don't know what to do, then don't act. We don't have to do anything. This supports the whole idea of beingness. And I think it's worth remembering that not only is Neptune stationary at 26 Pisces, but also we've got Chiron in Aries 17. Very much the same message of stillness, being not doing and this is recommended during this time when neptune is emphasizing this need for contemplation so in practice what this means is that you can tune in to higher forces with neptune it's associated with dreaming and inspiration and fantasy and deception those are all the kind of secondary interpretations of the fundamental principle and the fundamental principle of, of neptune is that all of this is is illusion all of it every single moment every single event every single perception it's just all a dream all of it there's no reality to it we make it real by perceiving it as such choosing that and the new moon dividing its influences, one of the choices that the new moon is going for is the one where we understand it's all illusion. And the other choice is that we make up the belief, the fantasy, that what we see is, is real, that our lives are uh, objectively true by an objective measurement. It's not true. Everything is subjective. And that means that it's dependent upon our perception. And our perception can shift. Once again, I could talk of Chiron in 17th of Aries. It's very much to do with shifting perception. So that we have these two planets doing something similar, similar at the same time, I think underlines the fundamental lesson here is that if you don't know what to do, then don't do anything. Trust that in time, and it might be a long time for all you know, it doesn't matter. If you don't know what to do, don't do anything. That's the wisdom that's given here. That's not a universally true wisdom. Of course, there are times when 
it's a, it's a good idea to do something even if you don't know what you're doing. More of a Uranus kind of thing. But this particular point, when we're talking about the realization of faith given to us by Neptune, we're suggesting that the path towards the next level of consciousness is recognized by sorting out this question of your relationship with illusion and your relationship with objective reality and working out for yourself whether there is any objective reality or whether it is all illusion what aspects of your life are illusory and the teaching is that it's all illusion within buddhism for example now what that means is that the things that you do the people that you do them with they're expressions of a fantasy that you have And therefore, you must really consider whether to take it too seriously. It might be just enough to dance with it all. Just know that it's your fantasy and enjoy it as such.